Hi, I'm Ron Chapman from the Chapman Law Group, and I'd like to talk about healthcare fraud sentencing. If you're an attorney and you have a client who's pled guilty to healthcare fraud charges, it's important that you ensure that the guideline calculation for that healthcare fraud is done appropriately. As I'm sure you're aware, if you're taking federal criminal cases, the guidelines in fraud cases are driven by something called the loss amount. The loss amount in the healthcare fraud context is typically the amount billed by the entity to Medicare. However, there are some arguments available to you if you can show that your client didn't intend to receive the amount that was actually billed by Medicare, but actually intended to receive the received amount, which is actually a lot lower. That argument should be made in a healthcare fraud sentencing case. In addition, prosecutors routinely try to calculate the loss amount based on the total amount of billings to the healthcare program, Medicare, Medicaid, or TRICARE. So for instance, if a cardiologist was doing a thousand procedures that year and billed it out at a thousand dollars, they might calculate the loss amount as every procedure a thousand dollars a pop. But in reality, what should be done is sampling and extrapolation of the procedures that were done to determine the loss amount. And what I mean by that is, you should have somebody review a statistically significant sample of records of that provider for the time period of the alleged fraudulent activity. After that review is done, you would come up with an error rate. For instance, if 20% of the procedures that were done were arguably fraudulent, you could reduce the guideline calculation by almost as much as 80% if you were able to successfully make that argument. Doing sampling and extrapolation as opposed to going with the government's assumptions may save your clients real time in jail. And it's important for you, if you're not well versed in healthcare fraud sentencing, sampling and extrapolation, or if you lack the expert support to get that type of work done, it's important for you to contact a healthcare law firm such as Chapman Law Group today. We routinely work with other attorneys who have clients facing healthcare fraud charges and do an analysis of their case and do an analysis of the records in order to lower the sentencing time and help you draft that sentencing memorandum and make that sentencing argument that will lower the guideline calculation. Even if your client hasn't pled guilty but you're trying to determine guidelines in a case, it would be important to bring us on board so that we can provide you and your client the right information about the healthcare fraud guidelines and where your client really stands from a culpability standpoint. Again, if you have a healthcare fraud client and you're not familiar with sampling and extrapolation or you don't have the ability to do it, contact Chapman Law Group today.